Seed, soil, water, sun. Seed, soil, water, sun. Ready? So imagine, we all have something inside of us. Every one of us has something inside of us that we want to do. And that's an idea. Ideas are divinely given. They are. You, where do you think your idea comes from? It's divine energy, man. Like that's, that's, that's the universe talking stuff. Like that's like big stuff. When you see this business, 7 billion people on the planet, you, you see it. Do you think that's, oh, I'm fortunate, I'm lucky? No, no, not that. It's a divine intervention. Your life and the opportunity intersect. But the idea, the reason why you saw it so clearly and somebody else didn't was because of a very simple concept. You already had the seed inside of you before the opportunity ever showed up. That's why you see so clearly. And you're like, oh my God, this is, so, this is amazing. And somebody sitting next to you says, absolutely not. I'll never do it. And you're like, huh? You already had the idea that you wanted something and you found the thing you wanted. And so the seed, the seed that you were looking for, the opportunity you've been looking for, it's so clear and it's right there. The seed is that opportunity. Okay. The soil. Soil is the environment. We have an unbelievable environment. Good seed, but you put it in the wrong environment, nothing grows. So here you are, you have the ideas, you have the desires. But the challenge for me, I was good seed, but my environment sucks. Bunch of negative, evil co-workers. <laughs> they were evil. I worked with some evil people. Look at me. Evil. They were evil. They hated me because I was me. I'm happy. They're like, why are you so happy all the time? Because, uh, I mean, ah, Mr. Positivity. Ah, ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So here I am. Good seed, positive energy. Put in the wrong soil, no growth. I see this business. Good seed correct soil growth so the environment matters what also matters you have to water that soil to me the water represents all those people that are pouring and showering you with come on you can do this i mean how many times have you gotten onto one of the calls and you've heard, you could do this. Come on, you could do this. You could do this. We believe in you. Come on, you could do this. You could do this. You could do this. You could be an RD. You could you could move. You could do this. You could be a seed. We all the time. Da 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 da. Water, water. So good seed, good soil, watering. Waters your community of people that are praising you, encouraging you. But here is the last part. This is the part people ignore. The sun. See what the sun represents, what, what that sun represents is your belief system. Now, good seed, you have an idea. Good soil, you have the right opportunity. That rain, that water, your community is encouraging. But if you don't have the sun of belief, nothing grows. People see us. People join us. So why do people not succeed? Because they had three but they needed four. Same person then takes themselves over here to this new opportunity. They say, I'm gonna to go to this new environment. But they still bring no sun. And until you realize you need sun, nothing grows.
we have an incredible opportunity. We do. We do. You can't tell me we don't. People have changed their lives here. So clearly something must be working. But for this last minute or so, I want you to think about this question. How bright is your sun? Is it bright enough to grow the seed? Because you can get on a thousand meetings. You can hear a thousand conversations. But until you decide to let your real sun shine, then the seed is waiting for the sun. The environment's not going anywhere. The people who are praising you are still gonna believe in you. The opportunity is still amazing. It's just waiting for you to believe. See, because when you believe, you work at the level of someone who believes. I can tell when I'm working with someone who's gonna go somewhere because your belief is only revealed in your challenges. When everything is great, you don't need to believe. I mean, why would you need to believe? Everything's great. It's when things aren't great that you need to believe. And I can tell when I'm working with someone great, not with how they tell me, oh, this is amazing. I know when it's amazing, it's amazing. I need to know where you are when it's not amazing. When it's not amazing, that lets me know exactly how bright your sun is. And when you see the people that have achieved great success in this business or anywhere else, they had the same environment and they just had a brighter sun. So where is your belief? And if it's not where you want it to be, are you willing to do the work on yourself Because if you're not willing to do the work on yourself, then just be a customer. But if you're willing to work on yourself, then, then let there be light. I'm hoping you got the message. And I'm hoping you take the information and you apply it. And I hope for nothing but absolute amazing things for you and for your future. But remember, it's all a choice. So if you're going to choose anyway, because you've been given the power of choice. So if you've already been given the power of choice, why choose yourself anything less than great? Why choose for your body anything less than healthy? Why choose for your mind anything less than knowledge? Why choose for your life anything less than great? Just want you to think about it. Are you with me? Awesome.